<laughs> I don't know, man. Is Jim Jones' career over or not? I'll let you be the judge. If I was him, I'll be looking out my window, seeing if the fans going to bust in my door. That audio did not put him in a good light. But I want to ask you guys a question, man. You know, listen, real talk. I'm not going to ramble. The question is, a lot of people online saying, look, after reviewing the audio and after hearing everything and knowing everything that they know about 6 9 was he really a gangster? Was he a guy who was controlled by gangsters, right? And if that was the case, him sitting on the stand pointing his finger, does that actually make him a snitch? I mean, civilians don't live by the same rules that gangsters live by. <laughs> so, so a lot of you dudes like, yo, CBT, what side are you on? Well, we'll get to my side in a minute. But a lot of people online are feeling sorry for 6 9 You know, these guys, these gangsters, they tricked him. Right? They made him believe he was a part of something, something that he wasn't a part of. They went out there, said some things about 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine followed up on it, right? He's walking around throwing gang signs up, you know, using this name, using that name, dressed in a certain way, hanging around certain people, disrespecting other people based on the fact that he thought that guys had his back and they actually didn't. They was shit on him behind his back. They was talking reckless to him, you know what I mean, and using him for a celebrity. They knew that he was the, the guy, you know, that held the microphone that put these guys in position to be where they at today and put money in these guys' pocket and feed these guys' family, and all along, it was setting them up for failure. Now, I'm asking you, does everything that he's been through, what these guys put him through, you understand me? Justify him pointing his finger. <laughs> okay, so let's get to my opinion. My opinion is this. The boy was hanging with dudes that didn't love him. Everything that he was told, everything that he was showed was a lie, right? So if it was a lie, you know, that I wasn't a part of what y'all had going on, if all the money that I was earning, it was basically going into y'all pocket and y'all was setting me up from every which way, then at the end of the day, I think what Chikachi 6 9 is doing on that stand is only right for him and his family because at the end of the day, everything that he knew, everything that he touched was fake and he was wrong. Let me know what you feel. I mean, what if it was you? What if you was 6 9 What if you was that Mexican kid, you know, thought you was a part of something bigger than yourself, right? Hanging with the big boys, rolling around with Floyd May where they're talking to the big stars and then at the end of the day, you end up being, you know, the biggest fraud. People, but people that you thought had your back was basically setting you up for failure. Come on, you tell me what you would do. Tell me how you would feel. I know you big tough. You gonna call me yo? You you snitching too? Okay, well at the end of the day, let me know for real, for real. You ain't got a picture on your on, on your um on your YouTube thing. Just keep it real. Let me know what you would do. People don't know who you are by giving the comment. Let me know what you would do if you was in his situation. Now my whole thing is this: Chikachi Six Nine definitely got a, a role to play. He got a part to play. He did He did some different things like that there. But he did everything he did based on who he thought he was with. Based on who he thought had his back. It wasn't like he did it on his own. You think some little, small Mexican kid would be able to move and shake like that in the States, in the city, in, in New York City? At the end of the day, he probably can get away with that in Chicago or one of these Midwest states. You know what I mean? But not in New York, playboy. He was able to do that. He did what he did because he felt that he had... You know, the right people backing him. But the people that was backing him was taking money from him, man. And now he's either going to do 100 years or he's going to point the finger. And, and, and you know you know what's crazy, though, right? You ever have to see him do 100 years, right? And have the people who set him up, people who were stabbing him behind his back, the people who he put money in their pocket, the people who he put in position to be stars, to drive around those drop tops, to date the best models, to hang around stars. You ever have to these guys to be let loose, right? But not a, a Count for the dirt they did to this one kid. Y'all want him to sit there and eat that, take that? Nah, I, I'm not feeling that. I think what he's doing, right, in his situation is good for him. I'm not saying I would do it because I wouldn't be in that situation that he's in. That's how I'm going to get away from you. You dig what I'm saying? But I will say what he doing in his situation is 100% correct, man. What did you expect? Everybody knew he was going to snitch Fat Joe, 50 Cent. Everybody said, yo, young boy going to open his mouth soon. Something crazy happened. So at the end of the day, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. He's a civilian. He's not about that life. He thought he was a part of something bigger than himself. And he found out that these dudes was just clowning him, playing him, taking his money and robbing him and taking him for a long ride. You rocking with your boy CBT. Let me know what you think. Holla at me. Peace.